Hey there, TC Made with TC Gaming. This is a quick preview of one of the games I'm working on called North Hammer <clears throat> Action RPG, which is based on entirely on the uh, template from the action role-playing game that comes with the engine. And you see here, I've just basically ported over their version of this into a different map, and this map was generated using Dungeon Architect, which is on sale right now. 50% off at the time of the posting of this video. I don't know how long that sale is going to last, but if you get a chance, you should check this out. It's a great asset. I might do a couple of tutorial videos real quick to show on how to get this to work this way. But I've been very interested lately in trying to learn the, uh, the gameplay ability system, and this game actually uses that, so I thought it would be a neat opportunity to learn it. But I just wanted to give you a little preview of what's going on here. Basically taking the, uh, if you go to the beginning of this, if I go to like main menu, you can see this is the action RPG sample template from Unreal Engine. You can download off of the, uh, off of the marketplace. And if you look in here, you can see that I'm basically using uh, Dungeon Architect and all the starter packs that they had in there. These are assets from the marketplace for Infinity Bleed fire grass ice and demo that's actually in the ice area there and you can see under my uh, maps I started working on building this North Hammer map and basically what I did is I took the stuff from the starter um, for the action role-playing game and I just copied it and ported it over to this side and you put in a player start and I also brought over if I can drag this over a little bit I brought in those NPC spawn boxes which kick out those little characters. And then in the abilities section under the data tables, there's a section here that says uh, starting stats. And there's another one in here for attack damage. And there's one for the player. And these player stats. Uh, where did it go? It's basically just a couple different things in here where you can go in and you can change. Um, I have to go through and look at where I did that. It might even be in this blueprint, but where the game starts up, like how how long of a round you have. So I cranked this up to 240, just to kind of give myself a little bit of time to play in here. You see, it starts at 240 seconds. The other one starts at 60, and so I just changed that and dropped a couple of uh, lootables right here, pickups, just to kind of get this rolling. And as I continue to build this, I'll be making some changes and sharing with you guys how that all works, but I think it's pretty cool right out of the box, you know. Looks pretty neat. So, got to build some other stuff in here for animations and things, but that's what I'm working on. Thanks for watching.